Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to add an image reference in Blender, so let's get started. Subscribe now! Before in Blender we used the file import image as planes to bring images and use them for reference in Blender, but a couple months ago there's a new way to add references in Blender and I'm going to show you how to do it. Just press Shift A, Shift A, or go to the Add panel, Image, and Reference. Click here, and now just go and look for your image that you want to, to load. I'm going to load this, this gun and press load reference image and here we have the image reference as you can see this this file has transparency so blender load the transparency directly but also the image reference is rotated what you can do is press alt and r to reset the the rotation and then press R for rotate, then press for, for instance X to rotate only in the in the X axis and then enter 9 and 0 to rotate 90 degrees and then you can press enter so you rotated the plane 90 degrees and then you can just move it to the background so you can go to the front view orthographic with five or you can press this button also so you can go to from orthographic to perspective and here you have the reference the other thing you can do is if you want to make it in a faster way you can go directly to the front view with one, if you press one, you go to the front view, and here you can add the image reference. So press Shift A, image, reference, and again I'm going to select my reference. This is a PNG, load reference image, and now as we are in the front view, the image is loaded as usually we want to to load an image reference and then you can move it to the background so you can start modeling the weapon, the head, whatever you want. If you need to add several references, you can go, for instance, you can press 3, so you can go to the right view. In this case, I am in, the, in orthographic view, right and orthographic. Remember, you can press this button to change from perspective or orthographic and again shift a image reference and here you can load for instance the the front view of the gun i don't have a front view so i'm going to select the same gun but you can select the front view and click load reference image and now we have one one view of the gun or, or one reference of the gun and a second reference of the gun so if I press one I'm going to see the, the side view of the gun and, and if I press three I'm going to see for instance the front the reference of the front here I have also the, the side because I don't have a, a front reference and there you go that way you can use image reference. A very important thing to take into account is uh, the difference between this, the between the image reference and the image as planes. Usually, before all the Blender users used this this functionality, the images as planes, is it's okay, but there's some differences between reference and image as planes. And I'm going to show you so you can uh, use the option that is better for you. 
I want to import images planes. I want to move it and scale it so it's almost the same size. There you go. In the images reference, the texture is shown by default. But if you use the image as planes, this option, image as planes, you won't see the, the texture until you go here and choose. This is the um, different options of, of visualizations, of visualizations of the, in the viewport. You need to check the texture button so you can see the, the texture in the image as plain. Okay, this is one difference. The second difference is if you start modeling this script, for instance, I'm going to add a plane, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, I'm going to place it right here so we can start modeling the grip, something like this. I want to show you this. I think I think it's an important difference from the image as planes. Suppose you are modeling this this rib, and you need to go to wireframe so you can see through the mesh. Here you can't see the the grip. If this is bigger, this is, if the mesh is bigger than the than the weapon, you can't see through. So. With image as reference, you can go to wireframe mode and only the mesh is set up as wireframe. But the rest of the of the image reference of the weapon is still showing. So you can keep modeling and it's very very useful for for do this kind of, of tasks because you can see the reference and you can still uh, modeling very quickly and very, very very easy but if you use the image as planes as you can see by default, if you go to the wireframe mode, the plane also goes to, to wireframe mode. This is the difference between the image as planes and the image reference. So here I go to I go to wireframe, I can see the mesh in wireframe, but the reference I can still uh, see the reference, and in the image as planes, by default also goes to wireframe so you can't see the, the reference. So if you use the image as planes, there are ways to, for instance, displace the geometry as wireframe so you can see through, but I think it's a lot more easy to work with this, this option, this new option of, of Blender. Also, the image as planes by default has lights and shadows so I think it's better also the, the image reference so I hope this could be useful please leave a comment and see you on next video